WNO Supply, Pipe, Valves, Fittings, Engineered Products, and Automated Valve to the Marine and Upstream Oil and Gas Industries. Installation Procedure for Replacing the Packing on a Rising Stem Space Valve with Chesterton 1622 Low Emission Graphite Packing. Fugitive Emission Control is a top priority for refineries, petrochemical plants, chemical plants, and pipeline companies. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency estimates that over 60% of all fugitive emissions are the result of valves not properly sealed and maintained. A.W. Chesterton recognized the need for a high-performance valve stem packing, which led to the development of Style 1622, a guaranteed low-emission valve packing. Constructed from an externally in-canal reinforced flexible graphite yarn, 1622 is a non-hardening flexible packing that will not shrink or absorb moisture. Provided as a single spool solution, 1622 is easy to install and can be used to standardize your valves using a certified low leaking packing technology as defined by the US EPA. 1622 also allows end users to reduce inventory and installation errors caused by selecting the wrong packing or improper installation. 1622 can be used in a variety of valve types and process applications such as hydrocarbons, VOCs, VHAPs, steam, and most non-oxidizing chemicals within the various industries served. Over the next few minutes, we will take you through the installation procedure for Chesterton 1622 into a new valve. This procedure would also apply when performing field repacks. Here are the component parts and the tools required for the installation. First, remove the cotter pin from the eye bolt. Remove the old nut and eye bolt. Replace with new nut and eye bolt provided as part of the kit. Open the valve to back seat to allow for inspection of the stem and to prevent foreign materials from being dropped into the valve during the unpacking process. Use a clamp if available or wire to hold the gland flange and gland in an elevated position. Remove the existing packing, taking care not to damage the stem with the packing puller. Damage to the valve stem will create a leak path allowing emissions to leak to atmosphere. Use a flashlight to inspect the packing box and stem. Be sure to remove all the old packing before proceeding. In a used valve, use emery cloth to buff out any pits or scoring on the stem that are visible. This damage can void the performance warranty on Chesterton 1622. Install the first Chesterton 1622 packing ring into the packing box. Make sure the rings are cut with a 45 degree skive cut. Carefully insert the packing ring into the packing box ensuring the 1622 is completely around the valve stem. It is acceptable to use the gland flange to compress the ring into the packing box. You can also use a tamping tool to compress the individual packing rings. Once the ring is in the packing box, note where the split is in the ring as you will stagger the splits in the rings 180 degrees. Insert a second ring of 1622 ensuring the split is 180 degrees from the split in the first ring. Repeat this process until five rings of 1622 are installed. A good procedure is to stagger the overlaps as follows. First ring, 12 o'clock. Second ring, 6 o'clock. Third ring, 12 o'clock. Fourth ring, 6 o'clock position. Fifth ring, 12 o'clock. When installing rings two through five, you can use the gland and gland flange to seat each ring into the packing box. Do not use a hammer as you may hit the stem and create a pit. You can use a rubber mallet or wood block to tamp the gland flange if needed. At this time, fully close the valve. Coat the eye bolt using Chesterton 783 Premium Anti-Seize as a lubricant. Remove the gland flange nuts and install the spring assembly on each bolt. The assemblies will be installed in the sequence packaged. Using the correct size combination wrench, tighten the nuts on each eye bolt. Alternate between the nuts as you tighten them. 
Tighten them until the top washer is flush with the top of the spring housing. Fully open and close the valve five times. You will notice the top spring washer has moved up slightly. Use the wrench to tighten each nut so the top washer is once again flush with the top of the spring housing. Your valve is now tightly sealed and ready to put into service. For additional information on WNO Supply, please visit our website at www.wosupply.com.